Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. It is so good to see you guys here again. My name is Nick, and today we're at Celebrity Cars and Coffee, which is another Cars and Coffee event here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We got the McLaren Park right here, which is way out. You can see the car show is not even over here. That's way, way, way down there. But if you're not here early, which I wasn't, I got here on time, which means you're late. You're probably not gonna get a spot, which is, very typical for this meet. This meet brings all kinds of cars, new, old, custom, exotic, stock. It's just f full of car enthusiasts and it's a great mixture. I would say the crowd here is a little bit more on the mature side. Regardless, the cars that come out here are of quality and it is a great time. All right, so you can see behind me that we're kind of in the thick of things right now. There's a lot of cars over here. As you can see cars, as you can see all the way around, we're right in the heart of everything right now. It is really, really awesome to be here. The atmosphere here is just relaxed, it's fun. Uh, everybody's here to just see cool stuff and just have a good time. It's great. Right here we have a Lamborghini Diablo, which is quite possibly my favorite car here at Cars and Coffee right now. This thing is awesome. It's a blast from the past. This was definitely on my wall as a kid, definitely growing up. And I remember my brother always playing this in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, which was great. Wow, we can see the legendary V12 in this car. And it kind of looks like that's cast aluminum for the air vents going into here, which definitely would never see on a modern Lamborghini. This thing is rad. Definitely. Super cool, super old school, and definitely something that I would love to take to Radwood someday. As the day goes on, it gets a little bit later into the morning. You can see spots here lining up into the main display area. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go grab the McLaren, bring it over here, and that way it's not super far from me, so I can always kind of see it while I'm going around talking about cars come to a car meet you want it to get seen right so definitely we're gonna bring it over here park it in here check out some more cold cars for you guys all right so let's see uh, what kind of spots we can go over here and find it's definitely packed here and oh my god what is this look at this this thing you can see that's one of the things I cannot stand is the auto start stop with this car I just why would you put this in a supercar? This car burns gas like a mother. If you can afford this car, you can put afford to put gas in it. It does not matter. It doesn't need to be environmentally friendly. It's not gonna save that much. But you cannot code that out. It has to be disabled every time. But this thing is huge. That is a massive, massive Ford truck. All right, so we have a better spot. We got the McLaren parked next to a similar color Mustang. And uh, we got our new friend, Matt, sitting in the car, checking it out, having a good time. And that's what having a car is all about. I don't understand when people don't let people sit in their cars or share them. That's what the greatest thing is, is sharing your car with other people. And honestly, it's, it's a great feeling. I mean, at the end of the day, if anything happens to it, we can fix it. We've definitely been through worse. And uh, this is what having a car is all about. Right here we have a AMG 63. I don't really know anything about Mercedes at all. All I know is that this car is gorgeous. This thing is awesome. This is definitely a dad sedan for sure. It's really badass. I'm sure it's fast. I'm sure it sounds great. And I'm sure the ride in it is absolutely luxurious. But this would be awesome to have if you had kids and stuff to tote around. But I think if it was between this, I'd go with the Audi RS6 Avant still. That's just the cool dad wagon. Right here, we have, I believe these are 2004s. Oh, no, it's a 2005. You can see it right there. This is a Honda Valkyrie Rune. I remember being a kid going into the dirt bike stores and this motorcycle just being in there and just being 
floored by it. This is one of the most beautiful bikes I still think to this day that Honda ever created. These are just really, really beautiful. You can see sing single sided swing arm. Just the styling of this motorcycle still looks modern to this day. I mean, back in the day, it was definitely a little futuristic, but it definitely holds out. It's really awesome. All right, so as you can see, everybody's starting to clear out. I accidentally got caught talking a little too long to somebody who was interested in checking out the McLaren, such as life, and sharing that car is just absolutely awesome. Over here, we have a... Wow. Definitely don't do that at car meets, guys. Over here, we have a replica Speedsters, and this is just awesome. This is something that I've definitely always wanted for sure. A real one of these would be very, very expensive and I'd be almost scared to drive it, but I would want a replica because I could bastardize it and have it be what I wanted. I think I would do like a shark, shark skin gray with a red interior, black wheels on it, and it would just be awesome. Not super quick, but something that would be a really cool cruiser put the dogs in it, go grab some ice cream, and it would just be really fun to have a car like this. So right here, we have an old school Volkswagen bus. I'm not sure what year it is, but I can tell you it's pre-68. This is awesome. I mean, may, some of you might not like this, but I love the patina on it. I mean, it is just, you can tell time had its way with this car. They, you can tell that they just redid the interior. Still got wood on the doors. Badass. Really nice looking steering wheel right here. And I like that they even cut the cracked glass. It definitely adds to the patina and the old schoolness of this car. I just really think that everything fits. I mean, even the look, even the wheels look aged. That's definitely something that's always missed. And then you have the beautiful Surflari windows, which is always something desirable to have on these old school buses. is starting to clear out the Corvettes club is pretty much about the all the other guys that are left they're playing music up at the front so I can't go check out any of the cars up there without getting this video demonetized but next time I'll do a better job of going around and checking out the cars here for you it's just off 215 in Eastern here at the Twin Peaks every single Saturday I think it starts at 7 and goes till 10 in the summertime and starts at 8 goes to 11 in the winter time sorry for the lack of content in this video but i promise i'll do better for you guys next time all in all though really great day here at celebrity cars and coffee las vegas if you guys like this video hit that like button below smash it if that's something you want to do subscribe if you already have it we're gonna see you in the next video stay free my friend